Hey, and welcome to Sparkly Pink. My name's Michelle, and today I'm going to be trying on Amazon swimsuits. I have never purchased clothing off of Amazon ever before. Nevertheless, bathing suits. And if you're like me, finding a bathing suit that fits, even like going out to a store and trying them on can be A, an emotional thing, and B, I can never find one that fits just right. So what I was thinking when trying these out is that when I was in Target the other day, because that's typically where I would go to get my swimsuits where it's not quite high end, you know, a little bit nicer than possibly Walmart, possibly, the prices are getting up there. The swimsuits were all like $40 and up. Like that's just like blows my mind. So I went onto Amazon and started searching for different ones. And there's certain things that I'm looking for out of a swimsuit that um, you may find in handy when you're on your search for a swimsuit. Why not save a couple bucks? All of the swimsuits I got, I believe, are generally under the $30 mark, and I will leave links to each individual swimsuit down below. Now, those will be affiliate links, so thank you so much for purchasing and clicking through to them to make your purchase, if that makes sense. I do make a commission off of that, and that's what helps me fund making videos like this, so that's kind of cool and uh, makes it all full circle. So what is it that I'm looking to get out of a swimsuit? For starters, I typically run a size 12 to size 14, I may very well be closer to a size 14 right now. It's Cinco de Mayo when filming this and I just ate two tacos and two margaritas. So I'm feeling pretty full and quite bloated. But I thought, what the hell, why not? When I'm on vacation a couple weeks, I'm gonna be eating that kind of stuff. So why not find something that I can feel comfortable in and wear and have fun? Um, so anyways, I'm typically a size 12 to 14 and size large is generally like across the board pretty good for me. So we'll use that scale as to whether these suits are to scale or not. I did try to order like reading through everybody's comments and different reviews as to what suits should fit my body. So we'll see if that's accurate or not. Um, something else I'm looking for, it's really important. <laughs> Whether it be a one piece, a bikini, um, I do not have tankinis in here. I'll tell you, I'm not a huge fan of tankinis. I feel like once I get them wet or I, you know, anything like that, or I get in the pool, they roll up on me and then end up being in bikini anyway. So I did not pick any of those up. I did get different bikinis, uh, high waisted and one pieces. But anyways, what I'm looking for is support. I have 34 triple D's and that's when I'm buying a bra that actually fits me and is the correct size. But that is where I feel comfortable and I do need some sort of helpage and lift in this department. I've had two kids, I'm pretty much a stage three drooper at this point. I'll throw it out there. I need a little bit of help in that department and that's what I'm looking for out of these. Um, what else did I consider when purchasing these? Really, I have like seven swimsuits in front of me and if I think of something as we go through, then I'll mention it, otherwise let's get on to the first swimsuit. I did leave my undies on, by the way. I'm not trying these on, and I'm leaving a little protective liner too, just in case they don't fit so I can return them, because I bought seven swimsuits, what was I thinking? But if they do fit and they look nice, I'm keeping them. Okay, so first swimsuit here, and it fits, it's okay. I have a little bit of a, a bulge, it's probably my tacos right there, because if I, Suck it in a little bit, there you go. But ugh, I don't need to suck it in for you guys, right? We're all friends. Um, It's covering, it's giving me, there's boobies there. <laughs> I don't know if I feel comfortable wearing that around my kid. I mean, do you? I don't know, maybe we're not all moms here and that's fine too. The only thing is the back, you see how it does that thing where it goes up higher? I don't know, is that just how bras are supposed to be? I just hate when mine do that. I feel like they don't fit right. Like I feel like this needs to be down. But if I loosen this, then these are gonna be all like. I'll insert a stock photo here that way you can kind of see the comparison. Generally, I like it. I'm gonna have to try on the other suits. I like that it doesn't come quite up to the belly button. I really like the bottom shape. Like they're a little bit tight, so they're not gonna like flop off when they get wet, but they're not quite high waisted either. So bottoms are a yes, this part, yes. It's just the back that's just driving me nuts. The print is amazing, it's super vibrant and pretty and looks great against my tan skin, which by the way, I hate to break it to you, it's not real. <laughs> my tan, and I brought this out just to tell you so I wouldn't forget the name, it's the Vita Liberata Luxury Tan Phenomenal Silk as Fine as Silk Medium. This stuff is amazing, this stuff's legit. And then I mixed a little bit of this body blur from Vita Liberata in with my body lotion 
and that's where I get a little bit of like that J-Lo shimmer thing going on but the color itself is actually from the the phenomenal medium tan something to mention is the back of this one closes like this like it slides into one another and I don't particularly like that nor do I feel like that's pretty secure so that's something to consider with trying these Amazon swimsuits. By the way, before moving on to the next suit, I just had like a thought in my mind. I'm like, there is nothing wrong with beautiful porcelain pale skin or like deep, beautiful skin. Like whatever skin you have, it's gorgeous. I just personally feel a little more confident and a little more beautiful having a little more of a tan. Especially if I'm gonna be half naked on the internet. So let's move on and show you the next bathing suit because I'm gonna be showing the internet a lot of my body right now. Um, you can see my underwear, which means that this is pretty low. Like I, I am struggling to stay in this top right now. The crisscross is cute. The back, so it ties here to keep you stable and then it ties here. I mean, it's, the bottoms are very, I mean, it's actually got a good coverage. I would say it's not full coverage, but it's definitely good. Um, this is not the swimsuit I ordered. I will insert a picture of the posting that I had clipped through and had ordered. I did message the seller to see if they could send me the one that I did order, but I figured I'd try this on since I have it. And then when I take it off, I wanna show you the cups because the cups aren't bad. So I probably need to go up a size in the top, but the bottoms are fine. I just don't personally like, like my stomach does this weird like from having babies thing. So I like to just have something that goes like where my underwear is right now, just like bloop right there. Because it's just like, I don't know, that crease, the little upside down, little smiley Winnie the Pooh thing going on. I just prefer to have that covered me personally. Um, who else has had a belly button ring too? Can you see that? <laughs> to be dumb and 18 again, I apologize if you're 18 and going through that right now. We all have that stage, but I guess it's not terrible, but it's not my personal preference. So let me show the inside of the cups because it's actually pretty cool. And the color looks really great against my tan skin. By the way, I'm in between like going and showing Logan the swimsuits and he said, not this one. It looks like I'm falling out. I agree, but he did say he liked the first one over this one. So guy's opinion there. So this is what the inside cups look like and I actually kind of like that it has this little lip. So this is exactly what I'm looking for. There's not an underwire but it is pretty, and it's not firm or stiff, but it's definitely formed. And I think if this was the right size, it would be really cute. Here is what the inside of the first swimsuit looks like. It does have the underwire and the formed chest piece and cups. Okay, so this swimsuit in theory is absolutely adorable. This is the first pair of high-waisted bottoms I've ever tried on, and it is a two-piece. I'm always been afraid of high-waisted because I don't want to cut off my butt. I mean, I like my badonka donk and I didn't want it to look like I had like some sort of big diaper on, but this is not terrible. I love the print. It's super fun and vivacious. You could even swap out the top or like the bottom and wear like a all black top or like, I don't know, there's different colors in here. There's blue, there's different pinks and reds and different things like that. So you can kind of like possibly mix and match. I mentioned that because I'm not a huge fan of the top. I love the way it looks. I love it. The little um, tie strings are actually detachable and it does tie at the neck and then it ties right here. But my problem is going to be under here. See, I'm getting a little bit of under boob and I can't have that. So like when I'm moving around with the kids and playing in the sand, I don't want to worry that like See, it's already coming up a little bit more and you can kind of see the under boob and uh, I just need this to be a little bit bigger, but I, if I went up a size, the bottoms would not fit. These are perfect, perfect. So I will again put the image up here and I have to remind myself of the price because if it was super reasonable, I may just keep it for the bottoms and maybe like gift this away to like a friend or something like that who has a smaller chest or maybe if I ever lost weight. But I really like this. The fabric itself does feel really good, but it's different than the first bathing suit. The first bathing suit felt thick, felt a little more expensive. This one definitely feels more of like a Target, Walmart sort of bathing suit. 
but I like it nonetheless. So I just asked Logan about this suit and he said it was his favorite thus far. So maybe I will consider honestly keeping it, but again, this under boob thing, I don't know, but you can't really see it at the same time because the little like flaps are kind of covering it. Maybe I'm just looking into this too much. Ooh, I have a little red mark. Um, that is so cute. He says it looks like I belong on a beach with a drink, so. Here is inside, look at the cups of this red one here. Um, again, no underwire, very skinny here, and yeah, but it's so cute. So this one is cute. When I took it out of the package, I kind of squealed a little, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ah, <laughs> I'm so excited. And I'm kind of glad that it's blue. I don't know if you can tell if it's picking it up or not, but it's actually a more navy shade. Um, I'll put the inset like I've been doing here and you can see it looks black on there. It does have like a extra lining piece right here to kind of help with this section. I mean, I don't feel like it's like in me in, but it's definitely there. I love that it's two pieces because if I didn't mention it before, I actually prefer having two pieces because if I have to go to the bathroom, you know what I mean? Like it just makes everything easier. And then the top, I don't typically, I like having structure and support in my um, swim tops, but I don't typically go for ones that look like bras. I just, I don't really go for that jam. It's kind of perfect. I was really worried about the back because the back doesn't have any sort of closure. It is just a pull over your head swimsuit, but this is probably the one that fits me the best thus far, I think. Dang it, I didn't think I would fall in love with so many swimsuits. Okay, so let's go ask Logan what he thinks. Okay, so he said he likes this one too, and I was thinking as I was walking back in here, what if I put this top with the red bottoms? And I love these bottoms too, there's nothing wrong with these, but I was kind of thinking like, if I ended up keeping both swimsuits and I could kind of like, mixy match it it doesn't look like i'm wearing the same swimsuit every day i mean not that it matters when you're on vacation you're just wearing to wear it but regardless i feel like this makes me look a little bit slimmer than the last few um both in profile and straight on all right let's try the next one Here's the inside of the blue brassiere. It has the underwire and formed cups. Something I'm also noticing about the blue one is you can see a little bit of the white stitching. So definitely keep that in mind that you are getting kind of what you're paying for with this one, but it's just so cute and it fits so well. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you this one. When I saw this online and I read the reviews, some people loved it, some people hated it, but I had to have it. It is gorgeous. It is this one piece. It is so bright and fun and the straps are removable. So you, if you're sunbathing, you can kind of like plop those off. It has underwire. It has the side thing to kind of lift you up a little bit. I mean, I feel like I'm in there. I definitely need the straps if I'm gonna be playing on the sand with the kiddos, you know? I don't wanna accidentally have an accident. But with the straps, I feel in, I feel secure. I mean, look at how bright and fun this is. How does my butt look? Probably as good as it can get, possibly. There's nothing fancy on the back there. This is really cute. Man, I'm gonna have to start getting like a little bit picky with these swimsuits because I'm, I'm really liking them. I am so surprised. Now the boob thing, I do feel like I have a little bit of space right here because they're definitely a little bit more pointed than I personally would like, but it's not, it's not breaking my heart about it, so. I will insert the picture here real quick. I think I forgot to do that with the last swimsuit, so you guys could check that out and have a comparison. Okay, so he said it's a keeper. He liked this one. He said he's liked three of the swimsuits so far out of all of them. I still have two more to show you. I love this one so much. It's so fun and different. All right, let's try on the next one. All right, I'm kind of half and half on this one with trying it on. Okay, so the cups are like up here, but my boobs are down here. I don't know, maybe I could push the cup down because there's a little bit of netting. So the cups are literally the end here and that's where it's sewn and my boob ends like where the netting ends. So I'm trying to lift them up into the cup 
yeah i don't know gosh i love it elsewise and the cool thing about this one is that you can tie it all different ways up here but i thought the idea of being able to do it was super cool as for the print i'm super pleased with it i was a little nervous that it would be like faded or just like a weird green or anything like that it was a little tight going getting this on i'll be honest with you but now that it's on i don't feel like it's too like i'm gonna like bust it open or anything like that if anything it feels a little bit big on the top you see this here i don't know i mean it's making them look perky which is what i wanted again super cute but the boob area is literally ending here and my boob is like where the swimsuit is because there's like a line right here where it goes like the bottom to the top and that the cup doesn't go all the way to this line maybe it's not supposed to maybe that's what's giving me this like kind of look sorry i was all up in your face there for a moment but yeah what do you guys think of this one i switched the top back because i kind of like it this way kind of gives you a little keyhole Damn it, he liked it. Ah, what am I gonna do? Well, of course he liked it. It's like, hello. Um, I noticed that if I pull this a little bit tighter up here, there's not as much gapping or gaping, is that the word? Right there, but again, boob is here, cup ends here. Like literally the cup is there. Booby, there. Sorry, mom. I can move around. That's what I'm worried about is boobies coming out. So if you get flashed right now, <laughs> you'll know it's not a good one. No. For as much as I'm worried about it, nothing's moving. Crap. Guys, this next swimsuit is probably the one I am so more over the moon excited about. And I'm so glad that I have it on and it fits. And I think this is probably the best fitting swimsuit I've put on. Are you ready? Look how stinking cute this is. We got the flirty little top, just like the red one. However, the top is different inside. We'll get to that. We have these matte flat green bottoms that also have the lining. So I do feel like secure. They are a little bit bigger than the last two high-waisted pairs that I've tried on. So keep that in mind but the top is perfection not it doesn't have underwire but it does have like cups it has elastic here where the last one did not and it has a metal piece like an underwire like hard plasticky piece right here on the side to keep it up like this now the straps are not detachable but you could easily just kind of like tuck those in but you wouldn't feel secure because this is just tied on in the back here here, I'll inset the picture right here so you can check it out. That's not even the best part of this swimsuit. The best part is, Sophia has one too. Now she's not here today for me to have her try it on. Um, if anything, the bottoms look a little bit big for her too. So maybe both her and I will have to kind of like find some um, matching bottoms to go. Um, but I mean, mine are, are fine. I'll get by on them. I'm just worried if they got wet. I'll let you know but either way oh my gosh isn't that gonna be cute i wish she was here so you guys could see her but so it's like mommy and me and i don't know i was really excited about that well logan said he liked this one he did say it was a little bit weird that i want to match sophia he actually asked me if sophia would want to match me she doesn't have a choice she's seven <laughs> maybe in a couple of years she won't want to but i'm really excited about this all right let me get changed out of these i will sit down and go over sizing how they fit and my final thoughts okay so to sum this all up i have some notes in my phone and i kind of want to go through with you real quick here so the first swimsuit was the hot pink bikini and it was super cute it looked great on the top and the front and the bottoms while a little bit snug looked really good and i liked how high but not high they came up the only thing that killed that bikini was the back closure and how it came up a little bit too high it retails for 19.99 and i bought it in a size 12 14 so it seemed pretty true to size but I don't think I'm gonna be holding on to that one. The second suit, while it was not the one that I had ordered, 
was still pretty cute. That was that coral bikini and the top did not fit whatsoever. It was way too small. The bottoms were okay because they tied on the side for this version. Um, but again, like this is the one I ordered, but this is the one they sent me. And I ordered that in a size 16, 18 extra large. And the one I ordered was $16.99. And I think I just looked it up and the other one that they sent me was the same price. So maybe that's where they had a little bit of confusion. But I did email them and I do want to try out the other one. So we'll see how that goes. Next is the red high-waisted two-piece with the fluttery top that was a little bit too small but super, super, super cute. And the bottoms were just perfection. They fit me amazing. They looked great. I loved the print. That I got in a size XL and it retails for $25.99. So that one I'm still kind of on the fence about because I feel like I could get away with wearing it. And Logan loved it. So I very well may be keeping that one. The next one is the blue high-waisted uh, brassiere type with the high-waisted floral bottoms. That I got in a size 3XL and that was the 1214 size and it retails for $29.99. That one's right on the brink of my price point because I feel like once you get to like $40 and $50, like any past $30, it needs to do something magical. I need to look like a Victoria's Secret model with big old boobies and an awesome ass. I don't know, that's just my personal preference. I mean, you get what you're paying for. I am totally one that is not afraid to spend money on something that's worth it. But bathing suits, because I wanna have a couple of different ones to switch in and out, I don't mind it being a cheaper quality and lower price point, but I do have certain requirements that go into what I'm going to wear. The next one was the patterned one piece. Gorgeous gorgeous piece it had the underwire it had the little like extra padding to give you a little bit of a lift it, it was a gorgeous pattern so there was two things that are kind of off about that swimsuit it was kind of the shape of the cup which really wasn't a huge deal for me but the one thing i noticed as i was kind of moving around and like going to show like you know logan and stuff is the straps kept coming off and there's like little hooks so I might wanna put like a little quick stitch since I probably won't be taking it off. And if I do to sunbathe, I'll just like shove it in. Um, that was the one thing I noticed is that the straps just kept coming undone. But I didn't feel like that was like, I don't know, that might not be a breaking point, especially at the price point of $15.99. If you saw that on the clearance rack at Target for $15.99, you know you would be picking it up. Okay, so the next one is the green leaf one piece. I love this one on the internet so much and it looked good on, but there was just something I don't know, like afterwards, after trying all them on or reflecting and things like that, I'm not 100% in love with it. The price point is $26.99, so it is up there. And it was the size large 1214. So again, pretty on point. It was a little like rough getting on, but if I had gotten a bigger size, the top would have been mayhem. And the top is really what's just giving me issues. I may just have to play around with those cups, maybe take out some of the stitching inside and move down the piece as I was kind of showing you before. So uh, I don't know. I Again, I have to muster on that one. And last but not least, the Mommy and Me set. Oh, I am so I am weirdly overly excited for that. So my piece was an extra large and that retailed for $19.95. And then Sophia's piece was a size 6, 8, which is what she is in clothing. And hers was $12.95. So I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know if it fits her just yet. Maybe I can insert a clip here if I'm not able to edit this and get it up before she comes back. And uh, if not, maybe check out social media because I probably posted a picture of us because I'm so excited to be matching her. Now I kind of want to get like swim trunks with that like leafy print for Anthony. That way like all three of us can match and maybe get like Logan a pair and then we could just like be a big little matchy family. Oh, they'd all kill me. <laughs> I am seriously so undecided at this point. I need your help. Leave me comments down below. Which swimsuit is your favorite? Which ones are you gonna pick up? Are there other ones you wanna see me try on? I really didn't mind doing this, so I would totally pick up other ones and do another one. Or if there's other, or if there's other videos you want to see, maybe like little sundresses, or I don't know, I, like maybe this could be like a little like theme on my channel. Like I bought this on Amazon. Amazon's kind of a newer thing to me. Like we have our new Alexa dots all around the house. I don't even know if that's what they're called. Echo. I don't know. I feel like if I say it too loud, it'll start playing music or something. All right. 
Thank you again so much for watching. Be sure to check that description box down below for all the links to all of the swimsuits that I talked about today. Thank you so much for your love and support. Be sure to continue that love and support by following me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell down there is really helpful as well as giving this video a thumbs up. It makes me look really cool. And yeah, uh, check out my blog at sparklemepink.com. I'll post some extra pictures on there and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.